हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द थ्योरेटिकल पार्ट ऑफ कोपाइलट इन इंट्यून एंड द वेरियस वेज वी कैन एक्सेस द इंट्यून डेटा एज वेल एज वी डिस्कस सम कॉमन क्वेश्चंस इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉचड दैट वीडियो येट आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू डू सो फर्स्ट understand the theoretical concept of copilot for intune then come back and start watching this video in this video we are going to talk about how to enable copilot in intune before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more now let's see how we can enable copilot in intune so let me show you first if you go to the intune admin center portal and go to the tenant administration and if you scroll down and click on the copilot we can see that the copilot in intune is not enabled and it is showing as not set up so once we enable the copilot in intune this option is is showing as enabled and we can see that we are getting a information message saying that copilot has not been set up yet to so use copilot your global administrator or billing administrator will have to add the capacity that we are going to do uh, in this demo session and then you have your security administrator set it up so we are also going to set it up for enabling the copilot in intune and second thing is the account which i am using to configure this setting so i am currently using this account chandramani pande and if you see the assigned role we can see that i am a global administrator as well as the intune administrator so to enable the copilot in intune the very first step is to go to the portal.azure.com and here we have to search for microsoft copilot for security compute capacity and then click on that option and now we have to click on create microsoft copilot for security compute capacities and now we can see that i am currently using a free trial subscription and i am going to create a new resource group let me click on create new and then i am going to provide intune copilot capacity resource group and then we have to create a capacity details let me enter the capacity details intune copilot capacity and then we have to provide the prompt evaluation location we have four or five locations so i am okay with united states and then the capacity region is us east and then we have to set the security compute unit so security compute unit provides the computing power that drives the security copilot experience then we have a security computing unit per hour so i am okay with one and you we can also see that estimated monthly cost and then we have to click on acknowledge and then click on review and create now validation is in progress and now we we have to review and then we have to click on create and now it is initializing the deployment and now we can see that the deployment is in progress and now we can see that the your deployment is completed and we can click on view resources and we can review the information now once this is done next step is to go to the another portal which is securitycopilot.microsoft.com and now click on get started Now started setting up your tenant. Now we have to select the capacity you would like to use. So we already created a capacity in Tune Copilot capacity. We have to select it, and then we have to click on continue. Now this is the information that your customer data will be stored in India. This location is based on the tenant associated with this account, and then click on continue. and now you have an option to help improve copilot by sending the diagnostic data to microsoft i am going to leave it as it is but if you wish you can disable these options 
and then click on continue and now the next option is the copilot access where we have contributors and owner basically contributors can access copilot but copilot response will vary based on the existing user permission to microsoft security prompt product and after setup owners can manage access from the role assignment page and same thing for owners with respect to owners owners can access the copilot including the additional functionalities and we can see that the global administrator and the security administrator marked as an owner and then we have to click on continue and now we can see that you are all set your organization is ready to start using copilot to investigate incidents and lies suspicious script summarize recent threat intelligence and many more and then you just need to click on finish and now you are ready to use the copilot for security from this portal now the third thing we have to ensure that the microsoft copilot is integrated with intune so to do this we have to go to the bottom and then we have an option and then we have to click on the icon called sources and click on on plugins and if you scroll down you can see that the microsoft intune is enabled if it is not enabled then you have to enable this option and now if we go back to the intune portal and refresh the console and again go to the tenant administration and if we again check the copilot option we can see that the copilot in intune option is showing as enabled and if we go to the devices and click on the windows devices and click on the particular device we can see that we have an option called explore with copilot one more option where we can see that the copilot for intune is enabled go to the windows devices and then click on the compliance policy and if you click on the compliance policy whatever you have then you can see that you have an option called summarize with copilot if you click on summarize with copilot it is going to summarize the policy which you created now we can see that it is giving me the summary of policy which we have created and we can also see some more prompts you can select and get more detailed information about this policy that's all i want to show you how we can enable the copilot in intune in the next video we will talk about all the areas where we can use the copilot in intune like policy and setting management as well as the device details and troubleshooting i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video